Good morning, Central, and welcome to Monday. I'm Paul. And I'm Daisha. So we hope everyone enjoyed their unexpected five-day weekend. Wow, it was awesome. It was. But how crazy is this weather? Last week, negative 25 degrees and five inches of snow. Today, it may reach 60 degrees. That's insane. True, but it's Ohio. Let's see what Caitlin and Thomas can tell us. Good morning, Central. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Thomas. And we have your weather for today. Well, we got off more days than I had expected. Yeah, having five days off was really nice. Well, today there'll be a high of 61 degrees and a low of 39. With the winds of 13 miles per hour. Well, that's it for us. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. I'm feeling really hungry. Me too. Let's head over to lunch and find out what we're having. Welcome back, Central. I'm Laura. And today for lunch, we'll be having a choice of Big Daddy's Pizza, burrito with meatos and cheese, with a side of refried or black beans. That's all from me. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Laura. That sounds so good. I can't wait. Me neither. As always, there's a lot going on around here. Check out one of these clubs. Well, Young Life meets today next to Kirk's Farmer's Market on Broadway at 8 p.m. Mindfulness and Yoga meets every Tuesday and Thursday in the library, starting at 7.30 a.m. Wednesday, Comic Crazies get together at 7.30 a.m. in room 225. And then we have a lot happening Wednesday after school. First, Key Club meets at 3.30 in the foods room. Also this Wednesday, Photo Club meets at 3.30 in room 241. Plus on Wednesday, we have the Central Bible Study meeting after school in 2.34. SAD meets at early in the morning on Thursday. They meet at 7.30 in room 149A. And then Renaissance meets this Thursday, also in the morning at 7.30 a.m. in room 209. Also meeting on Thursday after school is Guitar Club. They meet at 3.30 in room 180. And then we have a new club getting started. The club is called Roll the Dice, and it is every Thursday from 3.30 to 5 in room 229. There will be games and snacks every week. It sounds like a lot of fun. Friday morning at 7.30, head to the ERC for Keep Calm and Journal On. Friday, GSA meets at 3.30 in room 264. The Central Crossing Chess Club will be meeting in room 209 from 3.30 to 4.30 this Friday. Chess tutoring will be offered to beginners by either of the chess club presidents, so plan to attend. And then here's information about scheduling. First up, if you're interested in CCP, that meeting has been rescheduled for tonight at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. If you are interested in dual enrollment or ALC, you must attend this meeting. And then, are you looking to get a head start in the business world? Do you want to be your own boss one day? Innovation and Entrepreneurship, or DECA, are looking for juniors interested in learning about business. Outside room 252, we have folder for blank applications and a folder for applications to turn back in. I love that there is always so much going on here at Central. I love it too. Next, I think it's time for sports. It definitely is. Well, let's head over to the locker room. What's happening in sports, Allie and Jonathan? Good morning, Central. I'm Ali. And I'm Jonathan. And we have all your sporting news. First up today, we have some result news. The swim team had a successful meet at Upper Arlington on Saturday. Swimmers that set personal records include Jacob Archer, Will Atkins, Ashton Keg, Jenna Peretu, and Logan Watson. And then congratulations to Haley Howard, who finished second in the 50 and 500 freestyle. And also congrats to Will Atkins for a second place finish in the breaststroke. A special congratulations goes to Zach Frankek for his second in the 50 free and winning the 200 individual medley with a new school record time, taking down a 10-year-old record. Good job, swim team. Next, we have result news for our indoor track team. Congratulations to senior Manny Kojo, who broke the school record in the 60-meter dash at the, out, at the indoor meet at OSU this weekend. Running 7.22 seconds this is so impressive. Good job, Manny, and congratulations to the entire indoor track team. Well, I'm guessing everyone is tired today from watching the Super Bowl last night. Here's Jalen with that information. Hello, Central. I'm Jalen, and I'm here to talk about the Super Bowl last night. Super Bowl 53 was the lowest scoring Super Bowl in history, with a final score of 13 to 3, with the Patriots winning. Along with it being the lowest scoring game, it was, in my opinion, one of the most boring games ever. 
I wanted the Los Angeles Rams to win, but they couldn't get their offense started, and neither could the Patriots until the end of the fourth quarter. The halftime show wasn't that good. Hopefully we have a good uh, Super Bowl next year. That's it for me. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Jalen. I was reading for the Patriots. It was not the most exciting game, but it was still fun. Well, that's it from us. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. I'll be sure to make some time to head to a game this week. Yeah, I will too. Now, let's head to the counseling corner. Good morning, Comets. It's Miss Rendell again this week. I hope everybody is staying warm and enjoying this Ohio winter. I'm here today with just a couple of quick, quick things to talk to you about. The date to change any classes or request any schedule change is, is coming. It is February 5th. You need to make sure you get the required forms in in time. And if you have any requests, go ahead and email your school counselor or fill out a request form online. The second thing I'm looking for is students who attended Holt Crossing. The principal of Holt Crossing is looking for guest speakers to come in at the end of the year and speak to students about their experiences of being a Holt Crossing student and then now a Central Crossing student. If you are interested in being one of these speakers, please come down to the school counseling office and give your name to one of our secretaries and I will be sure to get you more information. Last but not least, all my sophomores, don't forget that this Friday is the field trip form deadline. If you need a field trip form, please stop by the school counseling office. That's all I have. Have a great week, Comets. Thanks, Mrs. Rendell. We always appreciate you stopping by. Next up, if you're looking for something to do this Sunday, check out our NJROTC all-you-can-eat spaghetti dinner from noon to four at American Legion on McDowell Road in Grove City. The cost is a bargain at only $6. And now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. This is the way that we support our country. There are many veterans in this building who would appreciate it when you stand during the pledge. Here's Hallie. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Hallie. Well, that's it for today. Have a marvelous Monday. See you tomorrow, Central.